I'll guide you through how to activate eSIM on iPhone, whether you're upgrading to the latest model or swapping from a physical SIM without having to visit a carrier store. If you're looking to upgrade your iPhone seamlessly using Quick Transfer or you want to use dual SIMs for international travel and you need to activate your eSIM digital cellular plan, then this tutorial will walk you through the complete steps using the four official methods. If you're ready, hit the like button, let's get started. Before we begin, a quick check. You must have an iPhone XS or newer, be connected to a Wi-Fi network and confirm your wireless carrier supports eSIM activation. There are a few methods for activating eSIM on iPhone, and the absolute quickest way is eSIM Quick Transfer. Use one moving from an old iPhone to a new one. Here's how. On your new phone, go to Settings, tap Cellular, choose Set Up Cellular or Add eSIM. Choose a cellular plan to transfer from another iPhone. If you don't see a list of numbers, tap Transfer from Nearby iPhone. Since both phones are nearby, signed into the same Apple ID and unlocked, you'll see a prompt on your old device to confirm the transfer. Tap Transfer, or if asked for a verification code, enter the code that's displayed on your new iPhone into the old iPhone. Wait for the cellular plan to activate on your new iPhone. The old SIM is instantly deactivated as the new digital plan switches on. If a banner appears on your new iPhone that says finish setting up your carrier cellular plan, tap it, you'll be redirected to your carrier's webpage to transfer your eSIM. If you need help, contact your carrier. If you purchase the iPhone directly from your carrier, they likely used eSIM carrier activation. If an eSIM was assigned to your iPhone when you bought it, turn on your iPhone and follow the on-screen instructions during setup to activate your eSIM. In the Settings app, look for the notification that says Carrier Cellular Plan ready to be installed. Tap that notification in Settings and hit Continue at the bottom of the screen. The plan will be active. Always make a quick test call afterwards to confirm you have service. If this plan replaces a physical SIM, remember to physically remove the old card and restart your device. If your carrier only provided a QR code, you can use it to set up an eSIM on your iPhone. To activate your eSIM during iPhone setup, follow these steps. Turn on the iPhone and proceed with the new phone setup process. When the setup cellular screen appears, tap Use QR Code and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the eSIM activation. If the iPhone is already activated, contact your carrier to get a QR code and follow these steps. Open the camera app and scan your QR code. A notification will appear showing cellular plan detected. Tap it. If you're using an iPhone with iOS 17.4 or later and you receive a QR code from your carrier in a default email app or browser, tap and hold the QR code, then tap Add eSIM. Tap Continue at the bottom of the screen. Tap Add Cellular Plan. If you're asked to enter a confirmation code to activate your eSIM, enter the number that your carrier provided to you. For users coming from an Android or other non-Apple device, Quick Transfer isn't available. You must contact your carrier directly. They will provide a QR code or use carrier activation to complete the move. Lastly, if you must enter the information yourself, at the bottom of the Add Cellular Plan screen, select Enter Details Manually. Then you'll need to input the SMDP Plus address and the activation code that your carrier provided to you. This is the least common method, but it guarantees activation if the automated processes fail. For more cellular plan management, check the description below. Now that you've learned how to activate eSIM on iPhone, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll respond. Click this card to explore more Apple video tutorials. Thanks for watching.